Hi, I'm Darlene. And I'm Marty. We're going to give you a quick rundown on what we're calling the best of the best. We spent four months in Mexico, in Puerto Morelos, and spent lots of time eating. And we're going to give you our uh, suggestions for the places we enjoyed the most. So we're going to run through this pretty quickly. So at the end of the video, stay tuned because I'm going to tell you how to find these places really easily. Who wants to check out all the best of the best with us? I'm hungry. Me too. <laughs> Woohoo! We ate out just about every night that we were there for four months. We ate at a lot of restaurants and in our opinion, these are the ones that had the best food. We are not foodies by any means. This is just our personal opinion. Burgers PM offers grilled burgers and french fries for home delivery only. You can place your order through WhatsApp. They're located in Via Morelos Dos. I'm told this is one of the best places for hamburgers. The guy makes his own hamburgers, um, so they're fresh, they're not frozen. He's got a nice menu and they do delivery. So we're just gonna give him our order and have it delivered to our place. He just barbecues in here right in his front yard. So I got a cheeseburger and french fries and Marty got the Vaquera burger, which is a barbecue burger. It's got cheese and bacon and ham on it. Looks really good. The total for the two burgers and an order of french fries was 210 pesos, or just under $14 Canadian. The food arrived hot and on time. We think Big Pizza has the best pizza. They do home deliveries only. They open at 5 p.m. every day, and you can place your order by WhatsApp. There's no extra delivery charge for pizza being delivered in La Colonia. There is an extra charge for port side deliveries. It was funny receiving uh, ketchup with your pizza, but I guess that's a thing for some people. This is our new favorite place to get rotisserie barbecued chicken. It's Pollo Rancheros and it's right beside the Super Shadrawi in La Colonia on the highway. So for 170 pesos or approximately $12 Canadian, you get a whole cooked chicken and it comes with rice, grilled onions, tortillas, and a spicy sauce. You can also purchase roasted potatoes, sausages. This chicken was very juicy and tender and a chicken this size will easily do us two meals. La Cabana is open for dinner and offers ribs, steaks, burgers, shrimp, ceviches. Stick around to the end of this video and we'll tell you where the best bakery is. The cow is on Zetina Gasca and they're famous for their fish and chips and their fish ceviches. Marty loves the battered shrimp burrito. Next is El Refugio Bar. It's on the port side, just south of the Shijarawi store on Rafael Melga. It is such a fun atmosphere. It's got great drinks, good food, and I love their chairs. They're hilarious. So you can place an order for guacamole, 125 pesos, and they make it fresh right at your table. So 
pay attention, he's showing you his secret recipe right here. Two avocados, some diced up tomato, diced up white onion, cilantro, and then the juice from one whole lime. Mix it all together. Mwah! I had the chicken quesadilla for 230 pesos and a beer was 48 pesos. Taqueria Mariachi is on Timon. We each ordered the pasta tacos with wheat tortillas. And honestly, the portions were so large, we could have shared a meal. We had enough to take home and eat the next day. There's so much meat in it. They have amazing wall murals and paintings inside. It's uh, got a really nice vibe and the staff were great. Next up is Norma's. This is a place that Marty likes to come to in the morning. They have quesadillas, empanadas, tacos, uh, really good prices, very friendly people. They've been here forever. And we are right on the corner of Zatina Gasca and Delphine. You can see the little um, fruit stand right there. And that's Delphine. This is Zatina Gasca. It's always a very popular place here. Always busy. These uh, came from Norma's and she warned me that the sauce was muy picante and it is. I put a very little <laughs> bit on. But these are very good. Very good. Well worth the wait. If you enjoyed this, please like the video. And to support us, please subscribe to our channel. Yes! For the best pasta, you must go to El Campanario. It's on the port side. It's on Rojo Gomez, just off of the main square. They have fabulous pasta, great steaks, soup, salads, fish. On the weekends, they have live music here too. They offer home delivery as well. We ate here several times with friends and we all agreed the meals were fabulous. Let's check out El Picuto. It's in Colonia on the south end of Zatina Gasca. It's a seafood restaurant that's been very highly recommended to us. This restaurant, I would say, highs for the best grilled fish. I'll tell you the other one later. They have indoor and outdoor seating. They don't have air conditioning, but they have large fans that kept it cool enough for us. They have a couple large TVs, washrooms, and it was very clean. The staff were very friendly as well. Their specialties are ceviche, shrimp, calamar, octopus, tons of seafood options. They also have hamburgers, hot dogs, and chicken for those that don't care for seafood. Another great seafood restaurant is El Cezanne Arocho. It's on Timon, close to Galeon. This place is always busy, packed with locals, so you know it's good. They have a large menu with lots of seafood options on it. Marty says this place has the best seafood soup he's ever had, as well as the best ceviche, and he ate a lot of it. I would say this place ties for the best grilled fish. Honestly, everything we ate here was amazing. Usually on Thursday nights, we meet a large group of our friends at this restaurant, El Marinero May. It's in La Colonia of Puerto Morales. 
It's just off of Zatina Gasca, which you can see right there. And the street that it's on actually has no name, but it's next to 45th Street. It looks like it was a motel at one time. I have seen some kids swimming in the pool while their parents are having dinner. So it's a really cute, funky, cozy little place. They've got lively music playing. They have sunshades up so you're not going to burn to a crisp. They have clean bathrooms. And it's just, uh, they have colorful, vibrant murals all the way around. Just a really cool place to hang out. Sorry, I forgot to get a picture of the menu with the prices, but these prices were right in line with all of the other restaurants that we tried. This place had the best coconut shrimp and chicken quesadillas. This coffee shop is the Station 69. It's on Timon, right next door to La Cabana. It's actually owned by the same owner, Carlos. This is a fairly new coffee shop that's opened up. So everything is bright and fresh and new and colorful. They have the best smoothies and milkshakes around. So that's what they're getting props for. They have coffee, tea, smoothies, milkshakes, sandwiches, pastries. They have such beautiful, colorful murals and artwork. That's one thing I really love about Porta Morales is how colorful everything is inside and out. They have a nice outside area that's covered with fans, so it's a nice spot to sit and have coffee with your friends. So give this place a try. This is Cecilia Bakes. We've heard that their cinnamon buns are to die for. So we've come here to die. They have a nice little seating area, some shade out here, that's probably where we'll sit, and then you go in, little seating area here, and you can have coffee, lattes, cinnamon buns, cakes, whatever you need to get you through the day. She also has some products here that she sells, coffee nibs, Honey, some art cards. She also runs a coffee and paint class every Tuesday. It's a lot of fun, no experience necessary. Trust me, if I can do it, anyone can. If you want to find any of these restaurants, just go to Google Maps, open it up, type the name in the search area. Let's look for El Marinero May in Puerto Morelos. Bam, there it is. Then you also have all the information on the left hand side here. Gives you their hours. You can read some reviews. Let's try another one. How about La Cabana Restaurant, Puerto Morelos? There it is. So all the information you need is right here. Easy to find. Well, thanks for watching and please support these local businesses. Mucho gracias.